Do you believe that this chair exists? Do you believe that this chair will support you if you sit in it? Putting your faith in Jesus is like sitting in a chair. I'm Carl and I. Let's talk about it today on the munches as we munch on God's Word. You can believe that a chair exists, and you can believe that the chair is capable of supporting a person's weight, but until you actually sit down in the chair, you have not actually put your faith in the chair. Putting your faith in Jesus is like sitting down in a chair. You demonstrate that you believe the chair can hold you when you actually sit down in it. And you show that you have faith in Jesus when you put your complete trust in Him and you can rest on His promises found in His Word. You can put your faith in people, money, jobs, and material things, but they may fail and disappoint you. I want to encourage you to put your faith in Jesus, who never fails, who will never leave or abandon you. Put your faith in Jesus, who says, cast all of your cares, your anxiety, your stress, your prob problems on Him, because He cares for you. Put your faith in Jesus, who cares about your past, your present, and your future, who has amazing plans for your life. Put your faith in Jesus, who loves you, died to save you from your sins, and He is coming back very soon. Faith in Jesus is just the starting point, however, in our relationship with God. And true faith will lead us to be obedient to keep God's commandments, just as Jesus and the heroes of faith did. Here's a description of God's people who are saved in the last days. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12 says, Here is a call for the endurance or patience of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. I will put my faith in Jesus. What about you? Let's pray. Father, help us to put our total faith and trust in Jesus. Help us to be faithful until the end and be obedient to you and your commands. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. If this has been encouraging to you, like, subscribe, and share it with somebody today. God bless you, and don't forget, keep munching on God's Word.